In today's episode of Cult America, I'm in Krakow, Poland to learn about the monuments of Polish football. We're at Hutnik Stadium in Nowohuta, Kraków, and uh, obviously I can't get inside of here without the connection, but the good news is that I know Dominik from Football Love who can get me inside. Thanks for, thanks for having me. So this is where the players yeah. enter the glory of the yeah into the beach. Yeah. Hutnik is not a is not a in top top league in Poland now. So people who came here, uh, yeah, they are really engaged and passionate about it's like about their club and diehard fans. Yeah, the diehard fans. fans. Uh, they played here at this stadium with as Monaco. In this goalpost. Uh, you know who stand there? No. The French goalkeeper Fabien Barthez. Yeah, he was then a goalkeeper of AS Monaco. It's amazing because if you just drive past the stadium, yeah. it actually looks just kind of like a random, right, stadium. random small stadium. Maybe some the, kids yeah. play there, but actually, big international stars. So, actually, thanks to the Euro 2012, this stadium got modern dressing room yeah. with uh, English and Polish signs. It got uh, modern lighting. Yeah. What the hell is this? <laughs> you know, ah. my football shoes. So you don't dirty the pitch. Uh, no pitch. The locker room? Yeah, the locker room. Oh, uh. Someone have to <laughs> <laughs> clean it up. Okay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> what is the difference between uh, fan culture in Warsaw and fan culture in Krakow? There is uh, uh, much more space in Warsaw and, you know, uh, in Krakow, uh, football fans, uh, they see each other on every street. Uh -huh. Wisła and Krakowia, uh, they play the oldest derby in Poland. Uh, but Krakowia is still, um, I think, most Krakow, originally Krakow people. Yeah, yeah. In the scale of Poland, hmm? how important are Krakow football teams? I won't say that it's the most uh, important city uh, in the football Polish map, uh -huh. uh, but I think it's a uh, top two, okay. top three. Yeah. Have any notable Polish football players been traded off to European teams? Yeah, many times. Uh, we have uh, Robert Lewandowski, superstar. So we are at Garbarnia Field. I don't, right. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right. And uh, we're about to enter the place where the uh, players enter. It's not as glorious as the previous location, but I feel it has strong grassroots value. This place uh, was uh, built and first uh, used uh, in 1990. Uh -huh. It is the uh, second or even uh, fifth. Garbarnia Stadium. As you can see, there is the old old stand here. Yeah. The old stand here. The um, goalpost was there and there. Okay. The stadium was like this. In 1931, they were champions. They were champions. Today, not many people know about them. Yeah. Yet, they still find the money to rearrange, reinvent yeah. their yeah. stadium. As they fight for 17 years to have a stadium. Who, who is so passionate about? The society of, of their fans, they, they players, uh, they old players. Have any famous footballers, Polish footballers, started their career here? Uh, yes, one uh, very famous uh, Polish national uh, team player, Robert Gadocha. So this is the one stadium that we can't get the inside of, but... Uh, but we try. We'll try. <laughs> This is uh, the oldest, the oldest uh, location of football stadium in Poland. It was destroyed by Russians during the war. Uh, then there, uh, there were a hurricane uh, which destroyed the roof. Unknown people uh, burned this, this stadium. Yeah. So Krakowia is like the most original old school football team yeah. you will find yeah. in the country. Yeah. The most uh, famous uh, player of Krakowia was Józef Kaluza. Uh -huh. uh, and this street, this street near the stadium is named by 
by Josef Koza. So why have you taken me to this park? This park and Bunia, what is uh, just here. Uh, this is the two places uh -huh. where Krakow football was born. Uh -huh. This is the two places where even Wisła and Krakowia uh, played many times. Uh, they even used them as the main ground, main pitches. Uh, there were, I don't remember, but two, four, five pitches. Small, bigger. Here? Yeah. This is the biggest stadium that we've entered today. Yeah, and, and biggest in Krakow. It's the biggest in Krakow. So would that imply that Wisła is the most popular team in Krakow? Uh, yeah, uh, it's the most popular team and definitely most titled. Wisła uh, 30 times won the Polish championship. Wow. 13 titles. Wisła uh, was once a, a, a big big brand in the European football uh, when in 2002-2003 they played in, uh, in European Cups. How many people can sit here? Uh, over 30,000, 33,000 people yeah, can sit here. And what is the game like? I mean when you're when you're sitting here, what, what is the energy like? Different than uh, in front of TV. Today it's it's quiet and with the wind blowing that's like kind of uh, a little bit eerie for me. Yeah, that's amazing. Frankly speaking, I underestimated the value of football in Poland. I always kind of regarded it as uh, some side shoot of the culture here, but after spending the day with Dominic, I really have a deeper understanding for how important the sport actually is. And with that being said, to see behind the scenes uh, pictures from today, visit my Facebook. And if you want to see a different take on today's video, definitely go and visit his YouTube channel. Yeah, it was a really great journey for me too. And if you want to see more videos like this about the history of football, uh, go to my channel, check Football Off.